Hi there. I am back with another video, which is highly requested in my last video, how to make a realistic looking skin shader in Blender. I am not a pro at this, but I can show you my techniques. I am going to show the shader setup only in this video, not the texturing. Maybe I cover that in the future videos. For this, I am going to use my Alleyer model from my past artwork. First, I will start from the eye shader. The eye is consists of two spheres. One is for iris and the second is for the sclera. Create a new material named sclera. These are my texture maps for the eye shader. Left one is for the iris, and the right one is for the sclera. I imported the sclera color map to the base color socket. The sclera bump map for the displacement. Add a displacement node to the material output. Plug the color input of the texture to the height socket of the displacement node. Change the scale value for the intensity of the displacement. This is the eye shader setup. The sclera is mixed with the glass material to show the iris with a mask texture. So I imported a mixed shader node and mix it with the glass node. You can find the IOR value online. It's usually between 1.3 to 1.33. Now I am adding the mask texture and plug that to the factor of the mix node. We need to invert the texture. I am enabling the refraction in the EV settings to show the refraction. Now create the iris material. You can always adjust the brightness of the iris color to look good. I am adding some subsurface value to the sclera, for that waxy look. You can set the subsurface color to blood red.
Now I am quickly adding material to the eyelashes. Adding a principal hair node. With roughness 0.2 and radial roughness to 0.5. Adding material to the wetness of the eyes. Our eyes are done. Now we will move to the skin shader. First of all, make sure that your head model is of default cube size, which is 2 meter by 2 meter by 2 meter. This will help in the subsurface scattering look realistic. These are the texture maps required to make the skin shader. Color map, subdermal map, specular map, roughness map, displacement map and the micro displacement map. This is the main setup for the skin shader. Mixture of the diffuse with the SSS with specular highlights and displacement. Now I am adding the color map. Make sure the color space is raw. If your map is high res, such as EXR, Now I am quickly set up some lights for the scene with an HDRI and some area lights. This is my HDRI. The most important thing in the skin shader is to set the SSS to random walk. You can see the difference between those two. Random walk is best for the skin shaders in my opinion, as it is also used in Arnold Render Engine for skin. I set the subsurface value to 0.1 to 0. This is fully dependent on your model size. This is the subsurface color, you can set it to red. As we don't have a subdermal map. So we make that with some hue saturation node set up. And plug that into the subsurface color socket. You can also add a little bit of saturation to the color input to look good. Now I am adding the roughness and specular. You can see that what roughness and specular settings do. In human face, we have specular areas like the lips the nose tip, around the eyes, ears and 
also on the forehead. Now I am adding both the maps to their respective slots. Make sure the specular map color space is set to raw. And roughness map is set to no color. You can also adjust the roughness by adding a color ramp node. Now some additional settings for good results. I set the anisotropic to 0.15. The clear coat to 1. The clear coat roughness to 0.4. The IOR to 1.55. It is very important to add a little bit of sheen to the skin. It makes the specular highlights more realistic. I set it to 0.03. Now the colors are done. Moving to the displacements. Add a displacement node to the displacement output. Add the textures. The displacement map and the micro displacement map. We have to mix it with the mix RGB node. Make sure that the displacement map is on the top and micro on the bottom. Set the factor value to 0.015. And plug that into the height socket. Also go to the material settings and set the displacement to displacement and bump. This happens because the mid value of the displacement node is set to 0.5. I had set the mid value to 0 in ZBrush to export displacement map. So we have to change the value from 0.5 to 0 and lower the scale value for the bump intensity. You can see the backlight scattering in the ears.
you can see my render settings. Under the light path, set the diffuse glossy transparency to 8. Under the Performance tab, make the render tiles to 256x256. Thanks for watching this. I hope this works for you and you have learned something from this. Please give a like if you find this helpful. Comment down if you want any other tutorials, and subscribe to the channel for more.